So right, so welcome to Make the Cut Classroom, and in this video tutorial we're going to show you how you can install two different versions of Make the Cut software on your computer so you can go back to the old one if you like, or you can stick with the new one if you like, and it's all up to your choice. But uh, I'm going to show you how you can install um, an updated version and you can still have the old version. So as you can see right now I have version 2.3.0 and I'm going to install 2.3.1. So in order to do that, you need to have the installation file of the uh, the one that you're trying to install. And I already have downloaded it right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, double click this. But prior to doing an installation, you need to make sure that it's not going to overwrite your files. So I need to go ahead and change this file right here that's on my desktop. I sort of like to name it what version it is right here. So I'm just going to hit you know, version 2.0. 3.0 and I just rename that file so that way when I do an installation it's not going to overwrite this file alright now we can double click this and we can hit the run button and it's going to ask to agree now here's the next important part um, you want to change this right here so it's not overriding that directory so I'm going to go ahead and just change this up here I'm just going to call this uh, MTC for make the cut, and then version, you know, 2.3.1, and I'm going to go ahead and hit install, and it's going to go ahead and create all the folders and everything, and it's going to ask me, do I want to launch make the cut now? Yes, I do, and uh, you saw that splash screen of 2.3.1, but we can go ahead and double check, and we got 2.3.1. Um, as you can see on our desktop here, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit out of here, show you that on my desktop, I now have two different uh, shortcuts, and this one is my 2.3.0, and this one is my new one that I just downloaded, which is Make the Cut version 2.3.1. So uh, I hope that helps you in understanding that we can have two different uh, installations, or you can have multiple installations, for all that matters, on uh, when you do an installation. You just got to choose the directory that you want to install it in, and then you may want to change these shortcut files so they don't get overwritten as well. So with that, I'm Rob, and I hope you enjoyed this Make the Cut classroom tutorial.